everybody, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So I've planned a little craft with me and in preparation for that I needed to print onto some tissue paper. I was after some pattern tissue paper to use in my project and I didn't really have, I do have quite a lot of tissue paper but... I didn't have a pattern that I was interested in using for this particular project so I remembered I had some beautiful digitals that I could utilize so I've decided to print some of those onto some tissue paper and I've been busy um, doing that printing and decided I'd turn the camera on so this sheet of tissue paper is I believe 500 mil by 700 mil I did feature it in a collecting and gathering video. I purchased it from Spotlight here in Australia. And sorry, it wasn't from Spotlight. It was from Officeworks here in Australia. And it came in a really big pack. Um, I will link that video below so that you can have a look if you're interested. So as you can see, I have used about half of the sheet already. And an A4 sheet fits beautifully onto a quarter of this paper so it does go quite a long way you do get four sheets out of the one and I have here to my left some just a normal copy paper as you can see it's well loved I've been using it quite a bit and I've actually had this piece of paper on the go for quite some time I did some printing onto tissue paper probably about a month ago now and I took my piece of copy paper and I just sprayed it with a little spray adhesive. So I have that here to show you. Um, I purchased this quite some time ago and I don't remember where I got it from. I think I got it from Spotlight, but I can't guarantee. I have seen it in some of the like $2 shops and I'm not sure if Bargain Buyers has it as well. Um, it says down here, permanent or repositionable very very handy for this sort of thing and a little goes a long way so I do have another brand here which I haven't actually tried but I do have it here as a backup it's a Porter Craft whereas this one is a Helmar and like I said a little goes a long way I bought the second one thinking that I would need a backup and I really I haven't used it all that much so it's great that I've got plenty in stock so when I prepped this sheet of paper, I do have a, a large cardboard box, I won't bring it up because it's massive, um, that I use for spraying and painting and things like that if I am a little bit worried that there'll be excess overflow. Um, it's kind of like a tray, it's cut like a tray so that I can have things sitting in there and I can use it and not feel so worried about my space. Um, and I usually just line that with a newspaper or something like that, pop my sheet down and I seriously, I pick this up, I'm not going to spray now, but I seriously just pick this up. Sometimes you do need to, as you can see here, the, the nozzle is a little bit messy. I would normally clean that off just with a wet cloth before I start and just spraying over like that really, really quick. It doesn't need a lot. And usually let that sit for a minute or two before I start using it. Now this still has a little tack. It's not as tacky as it was. But it seems to be working okay for now. So I haven't bothered redoing it. And at, across the top here I have some masking tape. So when I put this masking tape on. I had my first lot of tissue paper attached to my backing paper already. And I as you can see have got a very thin strip that folds over onto the tissue paper. The reason I did that was to try and avoid any printed area. As you can see, there is some printing on here um, and it doesn't always work, but for the most part, if you have, that's probably, oh, I'd say an eighth of an inch. Looks like a little bit over an eighth of an inch, only just. Um, but it's enough to hold the paper down and I do have that across the top of my sheet that is where my printer feeds from 
and so it becomes the feeding edge for the paper and that just stops any lifting or anything like that so i'm just going to sit down and make sure that i've got this so that you can see so taking my paper and i'm turning it so that the tacky side is down and just lining it up as best i can with my edges it doesn't need to be perfect perfect because i can trim off any excess and just pressing that down i'm not pressing really hard i'm just making sure that it's attached as well as possible i don't want to i did actually make the mistake of rubbing it down quite hard at one stage and i did have a little bit of lifting with the tissue paper when i went to pull it off so best not to do that too hard now i do have a it's a Stanley knife and I'm just cutting the edges using my ruler just to give it a nice clean edge. Sorry, I'm trying to do this around the camera. And I am obviously very close to my paper and I have actually shredded a little bit of my paper in the past, but it still works fine. Okay, so just taking that little bit of tissue paper away that I haven't used yet. And I am just going to tidy up this edge as well. Oops. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. And then, oops, that little piece is following me. Just folding it over. You can see I've got a few air bubbles and things like that. That's okay. Um, it really is just attaching this tissue paper to give it a little bit of extra stability to help it feed through the photo of oh, the photocopier through the printer so just adhering that down well okay so that's my paper ready and i will turn the video off and take you over to the printer and i will set up there and turn it back on again won't be a moment everybody Back again everybody, so as you can see I have my printer set up. I have got copy paper in the back. I do have, these are sheets of matte photo paper sitting on top that I've taken out previously. And I have my tissue paper here ready. So as you can see I have my masking tape edge at the bottom. And for me my printer is face up. It prints on the, the side facing me. So. That's how I'm going to pop it into my printer and it's now set and ready to go. So I'll just take you to the computer and I'll show you my process there. Won't be a moment. Hello everybody, I'm back again. So as you can see, I have the computer set up with the document that we're going to print. It is the butterfly sheet from Allegra Digital, the pink butterflies. And I've opened it up in Windows Explorer and from there i right click on the document and i open with windows photo viewer okay and that gives me a lovely visual of the image and then from there and i've just realized you can't see sorry um from there i go to print and i select print again Okay, and this is where I print all of my documents from usually. It gives me some options that I use to help me print either two to a page or it helps me fit to the page, things like that. So from here to print these butterflies, I'd like to do them two to a page, I've decided. I have actually printed a sheet that are just a single sheet. And I'd like to have a look at them to see what they print like two to a page. I'm after a slightly smaller butterfly image. As you can see here, I have fit picture to frame. I'm going to deselect that for this 
option um, but I often have that selected if I'm printing um, my papers and things like that so and I'm going to go over here to 5 by 7 inch on the right hand side and I'm going to select that and as you see it's made the image half the size and it's turned the orientation around to fit on one side of the page now I'd like two on this page two sets of images so I'm going to select two copies of each picture and change that to two and then that gives me two images on the one sheet okay so of course you select your printer up here my printer is different to yours perhaps so your printer would be selected up here and then from there that's how I select how I want my image to print and from there I just select print so I will set that to print and I will show you as it comes out of the printer so that you can see the final result I won't be a moment hello everybody I'm back again so I'm just selecting that print button And you should see it come through the printer. And as you can see, the wrinkling has come through the printer okay. And I have my images printed two to a page. So I'll take that back over to my work desk and I'll be back in a moment. Hello, I'm back again and I'm just going to take this tissue paper off my backing paper. So just carefully lifting the masking tape. Now if you don't have masking tape, you can use washi tape, I believe. I haven't tried the washi. Um, and if you think it's a little bit too sticky even your masking tape you can press it against your clothing a couple of times and take some of that tackiness away okay and then just lifting this paper carefully off here not pulling too hard because you don't want it to rip and I think I mentioned earlier I did have one that ripped I have a little spot on my backing paper that seems to have just a there a little glob of glue and it adheres really really heavily so I need to be careful with that so just be mindful when you're pulling yours away not to pull too hard and you can see it's coming off relatively easy and I have used this piece of backing paper over and over and over again and there are our butterflies how beautiful are they I actually really love them that size okay and this piece of backing paper like I said I've been using it for some time there is a cupboard next to where my printer stays and I just use this bit of masking tape to stick it to the side of the cupboard and it stays there until I need it next time and this piece has been sitting there like I said for a few weeks now and the tackiness is still fine it's gone through my printer perfectly I did quite a few sheets before I turned the camera on and showed you this process I can show you what I've printed I have them sitting here under some file folders they do tend to curl a little bit I found so I've just had them sitting under some file folders and as you can see I've printed quite a few and it's all been using that same piece of backing paper so I just attached some paper clips to them <laughs> the paper clips were simply because they kept rolling up on each other um, so I used the paper clips to hold them down so that I could actually get them underneath something to give them a little bit of weight. So let's see if I can show you. I've not long paper clipped these, so they are still going to roll. But I can show you the full sheet of the pink butterflies. That's the full sheet there. And then that's our half a sheet. I think they're a really pretty size, actually. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to paperclip these back together. 
and I'm going to pop them back underneath my file folders for now because I don't need them just yet. I also have what I need for our next project sitting under there because I've prepped those ahead. So popping those under there. And I've got file folders on my desk with the papers that I'm using in my current journal and that's what I'm sitting the tissue paper under in case you are interested in knowing. Okay, everybody, happy crafting. See you soon. Bye for now.